Hi guys, what's up? This is Angela and I'm bringing you another video tutorial. This actual tutorial was requested by a user from Facebook and he asked on how to add texture to an area from another photograph. He specifically asked about um, having airbrush skin and adding texture afterwards. Um, I usually don't do that to my skin because I have other methods that already preserve the texture that's already there. So I don't have to bring um, texture from somewhere else. But you can use this for this, for that, if you want it to. What I'm going to show you today is how to grab the texture from this image and use the texture to put it on this photograph. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the photo and we're going to put it on our layer palette. I'm going to close this one. Here's my photo. In this instance, I'm going to use it on her makeup. I'm just going to add some glitter to her eyeshadow. Um, basically, I'm going to make it uh, smaller because I want the glitter to be smaller. Now I am going to make this right here. I'm going to name this one. I'm going to name this one low because in order to grab the texture from this, we have to do a split frequency. I'm going to name this low. And if you've seen my frequency separation video, you won't understand what we're doing. So I will advise you to look at that video before you look at this one. And now afterwards, we're going to duplicate it. Control J. And I'm going to name this one high. I'm gonna go back to my low and I'm gonna I'm gonna actually see how much texture I want from this. So I'm just gonna look on the high pass. I'm gonna go to um, other high pass. And this will let me see how much texture, what radius I would need for my blurring in order to retain the most texture from this. And it seems that for this particular image, a 3.5, oh, it's good. I'm gonna go step back. We don't wanna do the high pass. We're just um, looking at it for a guy. So I'll go back to my low, and I'll go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And remember that 3.5 that we saw in the high pass that will preserve the most texture? That's what we're gonna do now. We're going to blur it to 3.5. And we're going to hit OK. Now I'm going to select my high. I'm going to go to image, apply image. I'm going to select the low layer. My blending is going to be subtract because I'm working on an 8-bit photograph. S scale to offset 120. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to blend this linear light. Here we go. I'm going to grab the slope and I'm going to erase it. Now, you see what we got? So I the high. We only grab the texture from the photograph and all the color information is gone. 
so we only have the texture. So this is a way on how do you can add texture from a different image and add it onto your photograph. So you can see it's completely see through. I'm gonna um I'm just gonna put it on her makeup here. And I'm going to do a mask, my layer. And with a black brush, I'm going to erase. And there you go. You added a little bit of sparkle to her eyeshadow. So you can grab texture from another photograph that you like and um, put it on. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye.